Okay then, so in the last video, we saw how we could create this poll details component to output the details of each poll. But at the minute, I think it looks a little flat, so I'd like to create a UI component, a card, which you see in all kinds of different libraries like Bootstrap or Foundation, and that's gonna give this some depth and put a container around each one of these different polls. So this is gonna be a shared component because we could then use the card in whatever other component we wanted to. So I'm going to right click over here and create a new file and call this card.svelte and this is going to be a really really simple component. All we need to do is create an HTML template and also some styles. We don't need any kind of script or data that we take into this card unless you want to provide it with some options down the line. You can do that but I'm just going to say div and give this a class of card. And the reason I'm doing this and I'm creating a new component for something so simple is just to kind of modularize this a little bit more because then if I want to create a card somewhere else in the project, I then don't have to write all the styles out again. I don't have to write the HTML out again, that kind of thing. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with if you have all of these different common components ready to use. So anyway, inside here we're going to output the slot and remember the slot is the stuff the html that we pass in as a child to the component so our slot in our example is going to be all of this stuff oops all of this stuff right here that's going to be inside the card so that's all the html is but we are going to have some styles so let's do a style tag and inside there first of all we'll say dot card and that's this thing right here remember class of card and the first thing we'll say is the background will be white or FFF, both the same thing. And then the padding is going to be 20 pixels all the way around. Give the content inside some breathing room. The border radius is going to be 6 pixels, so that softens the corners. Now, we also want to bring this out of the screen, so we're going to give this a box shadow property. And it's going to be 0 pixels and 2 pixels and four pixels, and it's gonna be RGBA for a color, so we have an alpha channel, zero, 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 that's the color black, and then 0 0.1, so the opacity is only 0 0.1. You can play around with these figures if you want to, just to see what different things look like. I kind of think a really subtle drop shadow for a card is good. So I'm gonna save that. Now, that's it, that's all we need to do, and if we go over to Paul Details now, I'm gonna import the card at the top, so let me say import card from, and it's gonna be dot dot to come out of the components folder, then forward slash into the shared folder, and then we want the card dot svelte component. Okay, so now we just need to wrap this in the card. So let me create a new card tag and take the closing tag and paste it at the bottom and then just scoot this in a little bit. So all this stuff right here, all this content is gonna be rendered where the slot is right there, right? So let's cross our fingers and check this out. And now that looks quite nice. Just a subtle drop shadow that brings it away and gives it kind of a 3D effect. If I add a new poll, then they all should have them. Awesome. 